Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to solve the, another intermediate algorithm scripting exercise. It's called convert HTML entities. Okay, so this will be like a bit of HTML parsing, how it happens behind the scenes. Uh, we need to convert the characters, uh, this and, smaller, greater, a double quote and apostrophe in a string corresponding to their HTML entities. And we have examples here so we know what to use. So this will be the entity for and uh, using the and symbol and amp, ampersand I think it's short for, and uh, semicolon. Okay, so we have some HTML entities which we can represent them as string and um, we need to basically map all of these uh, characters into their uh, corresponding HTML entities which are uh, strings by themselves. The best way is to create an object where to store all these entities, uh, all these characters as properties and uh, the corresponding HTML code as, um, as a value of type string. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to create inside the function here a const, I'm going to call it entities, and it's going to be an object. The first is going to be the end symbol and uh, the corresponding HTML code is this one. Okay. And we will do the same for every character. Let's just copy this so it's easier. Or five we need. Okay, now for smaller we need to use, this is the HTML code for, uh, sorry, this is less than, and this is, greater than. Uh, you can find, all, I'm getting all of this from the examples, okay? So here is the example for greater than. And for double quotes, I'm going to use an escape character. And this is quote. For apostrophe, an apostrophe, this is apos, okay? So this object now we have um, as key values all the characters and their corresponding HTML code. Now I think the best thing we can do is to split the string into an array of characters and go through each character to see if it is one of these and map it into uh, the HTML code. Okay, first let's just... Um, Let's just create an, year, an array of characters. So let array is going to be str.split and we're going to split it by character. So let's see what this does. Okay. Now that we have an array, we can just uh, map we can use map to iterate through all of them. And what we want to do is that, let's, let's write the function, it's going to be a function which takes an element okay, I'm going to move this a little bit like this, okay. So now it takes an element and it checks if this element is one of these, then it is going to convert it, uh, and then it is going to, yes, to map it into the HTML code, okay? So if, um, I'm going to check by using the object has own property, if entities has own property with the name element 
what we want to do in this case is return um, the entities lm okay so we are mapping it into this one if it's if it's this else we just want to return the element just like it is this will be for example for do for all the letters all the other letters which are not these special characters okay i think this is the easiest way to do it let's let's see what the what this does and as you can see it converts everything we want only th the things we want to convert and now since we need to return a string we can just do return array dot join and again we're going to join every character together let's remove this console log and see what this does I think this works. Okay, let's run it. Run the tests. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll continue with some of uh, some all odd Fibonacci numbers. Okay, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.